Our book is the book Monster by Walter Dean Myers. The book is about 16-year-old Steve Harmon, a black man, and his thoughts and experiences whilst on trial as a suspect to a murder. It's written in a screenplay format because he's writing down what's happening to him as if he was making a movie. As previously stated, he's being accused of being an accomplice to a robbery of a nearby drugstore. During the robbery, the owner of the store gets shot and killed. The other main suspect who's going against Steve is a man named James King. He allegedly tried convincing Steve to help join him in the robbery. Another suspect is a man named Richard Bobo Evans, who people consider the leader of their group. He has a long criminal record and has already been in legal trouble before for other crimes. Another important character is a woman named Kathy O'Brien. She is Steve's defendant, but even she does not believe that her client is innocent. Steve's outlook on life changes quite a bit throughout his time on trial, and he battles inner turmoil that he's never had to face before. He even starts to doubt his own innocence and starts believing that he just might be a monster after all. I'm going to be talking about the characters who changed in the book Monster. First was Steve. He was an innocent kid who didn't know a lot in the beginning, but then he went to jail and got wrongly accused of murder and saw all the ways of the jail system and the judicial system. Next was James King. First, he thought that Bobo and Steve would not snitch about what he did, but they did. Once they got plea deal and everything, they told the judge everything, and he learned that you can't really trust everyone. An important character, as I had mentioned previously, is Kathy O'Brien. She is Steve's defendant in court, and she plays a very important part in the story, despite not really changing at all. She helps Steve a lot, but she doubts his innocence. Another very relevant yet short-lived character is also one that I've already mentioned, the suspect Richard Bobo Evans. He was considered their leader. He had a plea deal that would lessen his sentence for his involvement, but he is not a reliable witness, admitting that he will say or do anything for a plea deal. There are three key passages in the novel. First is O'Brien's speech about why Steve is innocent and King should go to jail. Next is Briggs' speech about why King is innocent and Steve should go to jail. Next is Pachikelli's speech about why they should both go to jail. One of the main underlying themes of the book Monster is how people of color are unfairly treated by our justice system. Many of the characters are people of color, but they are on trial for a murder. And some of them being very young, the main character being 16 and the youngest suspect being 14. It's portraying how they can get easily thrown in jail with very little or no evidence on them. A really good use of literary elements in our book is when Steve is talking about his time in jail. It sets the tone of the book really well because he is describing his feelings at the very beginning. There is also another part where Steve describes as jail as if he's walked into a movie because of all the bizarre things he's been witnessing.